Now, praise God, if you said that prayer with me, you are now saved because you believe in the Lord Jesus. The scripture says, if you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth, you know that the Lord Jesus was raised from the dead, you believe in him, you are now saved. But just because you're saved, you need fruits. You need fruits demonstrated in your life. You need to know that, you know, we are not under the law, you know, in the past, like the Ten Commandments, we're not under the law, but we are supposed to walk holy because God said, I am holy. Behold, I am holy. Just, you know, so, you know, be ye holy as I am holy. And so we need to, you know, the, the, the Holy Spirit is, our, is alongside us. He is the paraclete. He is the one that's going to help us walk this walk out. And so there is a there is a sacrifice to be made. There is a change, you know. Anyone who, you know, says that you're just saved and now you can still live any old kind of way, you know, no. That is not right. That is not the way. You know, there is a change. You are turning from your past life and walking a new direction. You're turning from sin. So you may have to leave friends behind. You may have to leave um, boyfriends or girlfriends behind. You may be left out of conversations. You know, you may be certain movies that you, your friends saw, you're not seeing. Now, even though you're turning from things and you're stopping other things that you were doing in the past, you know, some people just, they're happy that they just did that. But no, you replace them with other things. You know, you're seeking God now. You are hearing his voice. You know, ask to hear his voice. You cry out where you're weak. You pray, Lord, I'm having, I'm having problems with this. I need help. You get on your knees and you ask God for help. If you don't feel anything in your heart to really desire God and to really seek after him, say, Lord, I don't feel this right now. I don't have that desire like I should. Put that desire in me so that I can you know, love you and walk, walk this out. Whatever it is that you know you're supposed to be having or doing, you can go to the Lord and ask him in prayer to help you. Anything. He says that he, he will give you wisdom and he abradeth not. Those that come to him, he will answer you, especially when your heart is, 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 is right. You know, so just remember that, that we really need to, you just seek the Lord on these things, on, on, on all of these things. And so, just wanting to wrap up, um, please tell someone today, um, email me at freshmanawithtiffany at gmail.com. Um, there'll be a, um, information below. You can go on to the blog and read up on, you know, the scriptures and things that I've mentioned in this, uh, message. Um, you can, um, there's other videos that I'm, I, I recorded one on, um, the 10 virgins, you know, did you miss God? Um, I also am going to be working on a series um, called The Process of Sanctification. So it's like, now that you're saved, now what? What do I do? You know, how do I walk this out? You know, you're going to be tempted. You know, you, you're, you know, not everything you're going to be able to change overnight. You know, for instance, if you're smoking cigarettes and you're cussing or you're um, still angry at people or whatever, or you still have um, sexual sin is in your life and all of these things, let the Lord work on these things one by one. You know, let him work on these things one by one. One, the first week, he may say, okay, we're going to work on this. We're not going to do this right now. You know, we, we, we're going to stop. You ask God for desire to just, you know, to, 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 to not fulfill the lust of the flesh. flesh. Um, so it's not for you to be overwhelmed and, and, just, and just realize, oh, I got to stop everything. I'm saying that for you to know that that is the ultimate requirement for God, you know, is to turn away from everything. But at the same time, you know, he's going to help you get through the process of sanctification. So every week, every month, everything, you're becoming new. You know, you have become new. You have a new life, you know, and so the old things will pass away and these new things will come. And, you know, the life in Christ, even though you're not running with the crowd that you ran with before or watching the things you were watching before anything, there's a new life inside of you that is, you know, there's peace in the Holy Spirit. There's joy. There's some peace and righteousness that only Christ can fill that place. So we may shop, we try to shop it away, drink it away, smoke it away, have sex and everything. We want to do, run around, talk to everybody, you know, afraid to be alone, whatever it is, you know, 
the Lord brings that peace. And when you experience that peace, it is the peace that passes all understanding. There is nothing like it. And all the things in the world can be happening, but you have peace. You know, you can have good things, but you know that that is not where your peace is coming from. You can enjoy things in the world that, you know, enjoy the things of life, you know, that that are you're allowed to enjoy. And it's like, I'm enjoying it, but that's not my meat. That's not where, mm -mm. that's not what brings me, you know, the ultimate peace. And so... You know, you're just getting rid of these idols and you're just making God primary through Jesus Christ. So, like I said, tell somebody, let me know that you became born again. If you have any questions or prayer requests, please submit them through, um, you know, the email below. And I will see you all another time. God bless you. I love you. Bye.